How far off is he, did he say? Mate, he does this all the time. Mez has got someone to be after this. Tell him. Tell him I've got to see the coach. He's got to, yeah. Is he coming? No answer. Well, mate, I've got to go upstairs in about half an hour to see Gus, so. Hey, buddy, where so are good you enough. now? So you're still, still, still on the M4. Still on the M4? He's fucking useless. Useless. Oh, far out. You're kidding, mate. Mate. Are good you to serious? see you. Every time. Every time you're late. Mate, I'm not that late. I've got a meeting at 6 o'clock with Gussie. You're upstairs. an hour late. You're an hour late. It's, it's not an hour. It's, it's not an hour. It's, it's an not hour. my f fault. Whose fault's that? Every Lattice. time. Lattice. Every time. Lattice Berejiklian. <laughs> all right, our grievances are out now. We're all good. I just got one more. F you, Gladys. <laughs> all right, now we ready? <laughs> ready? Ready to go? Yes. Yeah, ready. Done. <laughs> and let's do it. Trent Merrin. Boys, thanks for making Merrin. way out. Yeah. Let's just do that. Nice. Cheers, yeah. Oh, cheersing up. Uh, mate. Thank you, mate. Tell us why here and where are we first? Mate, we're at Panthers Leagues Club. It's mm. also a steak joint. It's uh, one of the best steaks in Sydney. All the boys come here. It's where we come to, to celebrate a victory. So, mate, it's, um, it's great food. Lots of them this year. They're going well with Panthers, been, aren't there's they? There's been a few wins, so mate. So Parra haven't been here then, obviously. Well, no, because they have their own Leagues Club. Yeah, but no, we that and celebrate. No, they have their own Leeds club as well, so why would they come here? Because this is heaps better. <laughs> heaps better. I love the riff. It's good, mate. Yeah. Riff. How's the coach going? Excellent. Yeah. The boys are fine. He's doing a really good job. And how's Anthony Griffin going? There it is. is he right? There it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Did you tee this up? No. I, it you was did. just the biggest setup. No, we did not. But I just knew it was coming. Mate, the Origin boys had a good win. Great win. How did you, how did you feel? Like, excited, but... Disappointed you weren't there, obviously. No, Not everyone's probably. like you. He gets really upset when he wasn't playing. He told me that if Parra were playing <laughs> and he was on the bench, <laughs> he, would, he would get, he would go, ugh, <laughs> no, I don't want I would to. not. I know, oh, like, you say right. the same thing. Right. That you told me. He's getting nervous. Look, he's oh, nervous. You did say he that. Did. That's what you liked. Where, where? <laughs> team. We're, we hey, team. Just stop Orient swearing team. now to cut all this out. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we'll have to cut all that out now. <laughs> Mate, back to Regan Campbell Gillard. Mate, I heard a vicious rumour that he mows his lawn. You just whistle, man. I did. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to mow his lawn in his spe <laughs> speedos. 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 Cowboy boots. Cowboy boots. Is that right? He does, mate. He does. He mows. He lives right next door to me. I mean, he comes out. He's got his, his boots on, his cowboy hat. And a pair of dick stickers. In his dickies. Oh my god. Penrith boys. This is a meat fest. This is Penrith. Penrith? Penrith. Penrith. Clay, thanks, brother. I'm gonna have to say, we've done a few dinner dates. This is this the is, best. Yeah. This is the best one we've had. You enjoy Penrith now though? Love it. What do you do for fun? We've got the Aqua Golf, just down the road, the Wake Park. Um, there's like time zone downstairs. The arcade. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. Like if you're 13. But what do you do like? <laughs> what do you do like when you're grown up? What about if you wanted to go for a dance? Or yeah, something? yeah. yeah we we'll got the downstairs. Got a nightclub. Downstairs here. The times that we use any time zone. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been publicly stating that when you were a kid, you're a little bit bit on the chubby side. I was, mate. And I definitely the... was. Is that why you wanted to play rugby league? No, I always wanted to play rugby league as a kid, but I also wanted to eat too. So. Did you, is, that, is that your vice? Yeah. Do you like, well, okay, if I could say to you, you can have any meal you want, you can just gorge on it, what would it be? Chocolate would be out there. Your no, sweet tooth? Chocolate, yeah, I used to eat a block of chocolate before every game, the night before Four. every game. Yeah. Yep. But I played 80 minutes, so. Yeah. I've done that a few times. Yeah, but you didn't do anything on the field, mate. I did lots, bro. No, you didn't. You fell on other people that made the contact. There's still an effort to fall on someone and get up it's and not. do it again. There's still effort it's there. It's not. So you... chocolate? Yeah, chocolate. Did you eat it before the grand final, too, or...? <laughs> it's a good question. Maybe that's why you didn't win. You should have changed it. Well, sure, I've had. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not chocolate. Maybe try and concentrate and not shit yourself on the biggest game of your life. All right. Trent Merrin, thank you very much. Thanks, Warren. Appreciate your time, mate. Thank you very much. Thanks, man. Pleasure, Thanks very mate. much. I, uh, I didn't get the memo about the matching sweaters either. Westies, mate. Westies through and through. You obviously didn't get the memo either about what time to turn up. 
Gladys Berejiklian has f***ed our roads. I'm just letting you know. Gladys, if you're listening, do something. <laughs>